everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. What are we seeing during this pandemic? How awful and brutal capitalism is. And we're seeing firsthand that we are in a battle, not with this virus necessarily, but we are in a class war. This article was in Common Dreams, ladies and gentlemen. In a class war, like it or not, the system always makes a killing. While negative co coverage of Donald Trump has been common due to his handling of the pandemic, media outrage has been muted in relation to the magnitude of the denying in our midst. Yeah, that's what's happening. I've been talking about this since the moment they passed that stimulus bill. That stimulus bill is a scam to get people in debt, to get people bankrupt. That's why there's no rent and forgiveness in it. That's why there's no Medicare for all. That's why they're giving little loans and stuff like this, but not really bailing people out. They're bailing out the big companies, but everything's shut down. Everything shut down. Unemployments, we're going to hit 30% unemployment. Bankruptcies are going to go up. Foreclosures are going to go up. Banks are going to run out of money. I mean, it's like, and who's making all the money? The 1%. Jeff Bezos is making a lot of money. Made over $30 billion, Amazon has. <laughs> and he still fired Chris Smalls, who was starting a strike because Chris Smalls didn't want to die from COVID-19 working in a warehouse that was poorly ventilated and not cleaned properly, and he's not even getting hazard pay. These big companies, McDonald's and Walmart and Amazon, they don't even want to give hazard pay. Jeff Bezos could give all of his employees up them to $25 an hour union wages, health benefits, it wouldn't affect him at all. He's, he's a sociopath. The 24-7 siege to make large companies more profitable and the wealthy more wealthy is going on all around us. In the process, it normalizes avoidable death as a cost of doing business. Because... This is what's happening with crazy capitalism. Part of the reason like we need to open the country back up is so that the 1%, the ruling class, can make their money and send you, the worker, to go. The canary in the coal mine is dead, and they want you to go down there and dig for coal. That's basically what this is. Emphasis is often less about saving lives and more about saving the stock market. Have you noticed that in the mainstream media? Boy, we got to save the stock market. What? The stock market? We need to save the stock market. There's 100,000 dead people, but we need to save the stock market? Because let me tell you something. The stock market is not the economy, and the economy is not the stock market. The stock market... 85% of all stocks are owned by 1% of the population. The stock market just tracks what the ruling class, how they're doing. Even if you own what? A thousand, a couple thousand shares of stock, or you've got your IRA tied into it or something. It, it's not, you need to own millions of, you need to own $50 million in stock to have any, to have the market actually affect it when they're like, the stock market's doing great. Remember all that crap they said in January, February? Boy, jobless claims are low. It's the greatest. The economy's doing great. I was like, where? I mean, yeah, everyone had two and three jobs in a gig economy, but nobody had savings. Nobody had anything. So that's what they're talking about. Oh, we got to save the stock market. You need to go back to work so that the billionaires that run the stock market don't lose some money. That's what this really is. Under the weight of cat catastrophe, whether hurricane or recession or pandemic, the cracks split wider and wider as more human beings, disproportionately poor, and people of color fall into the abyss. The single greatest transfers of, of wealth was the last recession. That's just been, that record's been smashed by this newest stimulus bill, this CARES Act. Six million foreclosures happened 10 years ago because Obama gave the banks a trillion dollars on top of Bush's $700 billion and didn't prosecute anybody. Nothing's been regulated. 
So before, I've talked about this before. Before the pandemic, we had a mortgage bubble. We had a student loan bubble. We had a car loan bubble. Anybody buying cars right now? All the jobs surrounding that? We had 60% of the population couldn't afford a $500 to $1,000 emergency. I bet you one just happened during this pandemic. you got people now not paying rent. June 1st is right around the corner, so people will be going on three months of not paying rent. We haven't done rent forgiveness. We gave $4.25 trillion to big companies and banks on Wall Street. Why? So that they can come in and buy up all of the distressed and and foreclosed businesses and companies and homes. That's what this is. The 1% just can't get enough. They can't get enough. They are sociopaths. There's no thought to like, how do we make society better? How do we save people? Even jackasses like Pelosi are like, oh, we need to give people affordable health care. You know what affordable health care means? You're still paying for it. No, no, we need free health care like everywhere else in the world. We need Medicare for all. Oh, if you get COVID, you can't, you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, that's what they claim. And maybe that's true. But if I get anything else, you're, not, you're trying to tell me that the insurance companies, you go to the hospital and maybe COVID was part of it, but you, something else was sick. They'll just cross out the COVID and say, oh no, they got sick from this other thing. You owe us 20 grand in hospital bills. This whole thing, they use this pandemic and it, this is nothing. We're only two months into this. This is nothing. A year from now, you're going to see the worst depression ever. It's going to be worse than the Great Depression in the 20s. It's going to make the recession of, of 2008 look like literally a, a bake sale that lost money. That's what it's going to be. The single greatest transfers of wealth just happened last month with that CARES Act. What are we gonna do with 30% unemployment? What's gonna happen? Now in the pandemic, those inequalities are more stark across America and around the globe are fabulous riches for a tiny few and deepening immiseration for everybody else. But the ruling class, the wealthy, they get it. They're not tone deaf. They understand. That's why David Geffen posted this. Sunset last night, isolated in the Grenada <laughs> Grenadas, avoiding the virus. I'm hoping everybody is staying safe. What an asshole. And he doesn't read, he doesn't think this is, he never thought, and this thing got, people went nuts over this. He didn't think anyone, who would get mad at this? When they're like, when these rich people, Madonnas and your rosewater bath, we're all in the same boat. Mm, we're in the same storm. Some of us are in a big, you know, 50, $100 million yacht or whatever this dumb thing costs. Some of us are in a little rowboat. Some of us are just hanging on to a life preserver, hoping we don't drown as another month of bills comes along and there's no work in sight. Whole industries have been just wiped out, canceled. Just in my little world, two of the comedy clubs Ron Placone and I were supposed to perform at for the Progressive Comedy Tour, one in Seattle, one in Boston, they're out of business. They're done. We liked working independent venues and rock clubs and small business and mom and pop shops. Those are, those, how are they going to survive? Oh, this guy's toughing it out. Boy, yeah. And I love when these, jet, these rich assholes just stay at home telling all of us to stay at home. Oh, really? While well, you have your floating resort? The Rock, just stay at home. And he's shooting this in the middle of his home gym, which is like bigger than my whole apartment complex. They're in the backyard of their mansions and their swimming pools and their hot tubs going, hey, we're all in this together. No, we're not. No, we're not. You're, you're getting quarantined in a resort. You're on a floating fucking resort in this beautiful weather. We're all in this together. Shut up. What did that maggot-ridden, soulless pimp Jeff Bezos say? The only way that I can see to deploy this much financial resource is by converting my Amazon winnings into space travel. That's basically it. Nothing 
Nothing crossed that bald-headed sociopath's mind. He didn't go, gee, you know what? I could end homelessness. End it. End it. I could give all my employees union wages and change millions of people's lives for the better in the middle of a pandemic. He could be like the biggest hero. People would go, wow, he's the greatest guy ever. All my employees, they're all getting union wages. They're all getting hazard pay. I'm paying everybody. I'm paying everybody, all my employees rent. I'm getting rid of homelessness in America. No, I think I'll go to space. That's basically it. That's all I know what to do with it. My winnings, my Amazon winnings. You're an asshole. Like they've done studies. Like he has a mental illness. People that get obscenely wealthy, they're literally, their brains change and they lose empathy. That's what this is. This is a danger to society. No, no other ideas could come to your mind. Help people? Nah. Space travel. What are you going to do in space? Build a mansion? Build a floating space yacht for David Geffen? The corporate system is looking for, the, for its own forms of social closure in the midst of this pandemic colossal deadly upheaval. Already, we're supposed to accept. Hey, so what if some Amazon workers die? As long as Bezos gets to build his space fort, just to, just to whip his dick out and measure it against Elon Musk, that's all that is, is billionaire dick measuring. Oh, he's got SpaceX? I want a SpaceX. I want a space Amazon, because I'm a spoiled little pimp. There's people in food lines. There was a, they showed outside of Pittsburgh, there was a, a food bank giving people food and there was cars for miles, miles. We have empty shelves. We have people living on the street. We have people who have no idea what's gonna happen with their business. And Jeff Bezos, what does he wanna do? He wants to go into space with his Amazon winnings. No, we need to seize the billionaires and their assets and give them to the people. Yeah, we need to do that. It's a crime what's happening. There's millions of people suffering. There's people dying. We've had 100,000 deaths. And the Jeff Bezos of the world, they don't care if you die. As long as they make a profit, they literally do not care. It's time for a general strike. You know, Jeff Bezos, all your winnings, no one will care about you. You won't still be talked about the way we talk about this man, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was a socialist. We don't hear a lot of these speeches. I like reading this speech because it's, it's never said on the mainstream media during MLK Day. It's never said that. Never said. Something is wrong with the economic system of our nation. Something is wrong with capitalism. Maybe America must move toward a democratic socialism. We must develop programs that will drive the nation to the realization of the need for a guaranteed annual income. Dr. Martin Luther King, September 14, 1966. He doesn't say, boy, I'm making a lot of money with this activist gig. I'm going to buy a space station. He gave his life to try to make others' lives better. He fought for the poor people's campaign. Do you think Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and Bill Gates are doing that? No. No. They all got ties to Epstein. Creeps. Filthy creeps. We need to prevent Jeff Bezos. We just need to stop him. His money could literally fix this country overnight. Fix it. He wants to build a space station. Something is wrong with this country. Something is wrong with capitalism. Dr. King pointed this out in 1966, and this pandemic is showing all of us how really wrong it is. Thanks for watching the show. They're not gonna tell you this on the mainstream media, but I will. That's why you're watching this. That's why you're making Gotham Great Again. Boom, shave your knuckles for justice. Hey everybody, like, 
share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.